Uh, I'll be talking up today about this field of very high energy astrophysics. It's also called particle astrophysics. And this is where the small in the universe come in contact with the big. By small one means the micro and uh, by big one means the macro. Here, as the slide implies, uh, we are going to deal with the highest energy available in nature. Absolutely very, very high energy particles now. And uh, the, uh, here, it's not uh, conventional astronomy anymore, as we will see later. And we will deal with the photonic aspect of light, that means the particle aspect, and I'll just describe slowly. And that is called gamma ray astronomy. And the units I will explain to you a little more later. It's called MEV. But here, you know, uh, astronomy is done also with charged particles in this thing. Charged particles means not photons or anything like that. And we call that cosmic ray astronomy. And that again is a subunit, 10 TeV. And uh, other neutral particles, the very famous particle in, uh, 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 in particle physics called neutrinos, neutrino astronomy. Uh, neutrino is almost like photon, it's light in many ways. So it's also very useful for uh, 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 solving some of these problems in high energy astrophysics. Now, uh, at first, I should tell you that, as I said, it's not conventional astronomy anymore. And uh, we'll just go back and see what's the difference there. You see, in the early 1700s, as we know, Huygens was the person who thought of light as waves. But the great Newton said, no, it is particles. But Newton was found to be wrong at that time, and wave theory was found to explain many phenomena. Now, it went on for 300 years, slow, like, something like that before Einstein came, but already what happened was that experiments had come up which could not be explained by uh, uh, the wave theory. So Einstein came up with a great idea called that uh, the light could also be a particle, that means uh, what we call today a photon. Mm -hmm. And later it was found like some of these uh, people like Compton, De Broglie, etc. showed that it's not just light, but it's all particles actually, a wave nature and vice versa. So we call this wave particle duality, as uh, some of you may know, we studied some of this physics here. And the point is all particles, all, sorry, all matter exhibits both waves like and particle like properties. And Bohr was the great man there who tried to explain it in a more philosophical manner. And uh, this also could be seen as a consequence of limitations of the observer, like what you like the instrument you choose to sometimes define to that it's a wave or a particle. And this is just a cartoon to show that uh, you know, identity crisis type of thing, whether I'm a photon or a uh, you know, radio photon or X-ray photon or even a wave or a particle. So anyway, now the point is that we are going to deal more with the uh, particle aspect of light here, in this uh, high, energy particle, high energy astrophysics. And uh, so this is the kind of an introduction to, uh, that is uh, introduction where uh, as I said, we are going to deal with photons, and uh, no more waves. So that naturally, as you can probably imagine, the instrument would, would differ. Now, these are the units employed in the uh, high energy astrophysics, high energy physics. You are all familiar with arcs uh, for energy and uh, joules, and we call what what we use is what's called an electron volt here, and it's actually this gives the formula there. In the slide gives the uh, relationship between these two. And uh, to tell you, for example, some of these very common things like an electron, how much mass it has, this is like a 500 kilo electron, that means 1000 electron volts. Proton mass, proton is, as you know, it is the nucleus, and it is a 1000 MPV, or we call it a GEV. Now, to make it uh, kind of uh, easier for you to understand, you think of light, you know, what we call optical photon, the one which lights the, you know, uh, the regular photon, regular light here. That is one electron volt, okay? Very simple, you know, then you can connect to anything else. And we are also going to deal with very, very fast uh, high energy particles now to, to 10 to the power of 20. Uh, that is enormous energy. And it's packed into a single proton. For example, it says uh, 10 is born at a very, very fast uh, speed. But just imagine it's into one single proton. So we are going to deal now with, uh, uh, with uh, units like electron volt, uh, uh, yeah, KEV, MEV, GEV, etc. Now here we are I'm showing you the electromagnetic spectrum. Probably it is quite uh, uh, familiar to all of you, but you please look at it carefully. And uh, now, the, the, for example, one of the things shown is the wavelength there. 
uh, in the wavelet, uh, that is, uh, you could see in the middle of the slide there, now the large wavelet sticks a radio, and then the microwave infrared visible, okay? Now then you come up with the energy, that means more than one electron volt, as I told you, and we come to ultraviolet and X-rays, X-rays are KEV creatures, and gamma ray, which are, yeah, maybe are much, much higher. As you can see, the frequency gets more as you go into uh, the very high energy, uh, the gamma ray field. And uh, the, the lower part of the slide shows you in terms of electron volt, what type of things we are dealing. As I told you already, optical photons are one electron volt, whereas radio could be thought of as nano, you know, very small. The X-ray, which you might have heard already, is a KEV, that's a thousand electron volt. But uh, what today we'll be talking about a much, much higher energy particles called gamma rays and others, that is about a million electron volt and more. So this is the familiar electromagnetic spectrum, and uh, I'm sure you, once you look at it, you will understand the uh, uh, the differences between, say, radio or gamma ray or something like that. Now, it, I'm showing you on the top part of the slide what's called the opacity. Opacity is the opposite of transparency. Now, you can see that only certain types of light, or photons or whatever you want to, electromagnetic uh, waves, come down to Earth, but some, uh, most of them do not. For example, in the middle of the slide, we see the colored one. That's where the optical thing comes in. And the much this side, it is the uh, right-hand side is the radio. Okay, that's why radio telescopes are there on Earth, and also uh, optical telescopes. And uh, below that, for example, I showed uh, the uh, uh, just the type of instruments one uses, like the telescope, right, the optical range, and then once you go into the very higher energy range, you see the satellite. Mm -hmm. The lower uh, slide also shows something like this, but slightly differently. And the, essentially what we are trying to say now is when you want to do much higher energy astrophysics, you may have to uh, you use uh, uh, what you call space vehicles like satellites, or uh, as I'll show you later, it can also be done on ground, but it will be at very, very high energies. Now, uh, you see, we, what we, today, the, actually the uh, buzzword uh, is multivalent astronomy. That means essentially astronomy has got to be done at very many wavelengths or many energies. Now, for the first reason for that is what wants to extend astronomy uh, to higher and higher energies. Now, why is why why does one want to do that? I mean, it's just for example, to something like uh, uh, you just see the right hand side there. There's a the good old Panchatantra tale of a blind uh, of six blind men and an elephant. Now each blind person will think, okay, that is the elephant. That's what happens in astronomy. Unless you catch, let's say, radio waves, optical, and gamma ray, you don't get a full picture of the uh, uh, of the celestial object. So you got to you got to look at a phenomena and a source in many way maps. And so this is an analogy which I think works quite well. And another thing is, how do we know that only uh, sources are emitted? Uh, optical or something like that. It could be everything in higher energy. Okay, now let's see how it comes out. 